Meet Stuart Hall, a 6'2", 200-pound speed running back from Boynton Beach, Florida. He's looking to fulfill his dream of being a college running back after growing up poor and being told by countless college coaches he's not good enough for a scholarship. Now with a few opportunities to walk on out of school, can he become the greatest walk-on player ever? Look at all these schools offering him as a walk-on but didn't want to give him a scholarship. Shake my head. But Stuart Hall knows he needs to prove himself and what better place to do that than at Colorado where you have two of the best college football players in Travis Hunter and Shador Sanders and a great coach in Deion Sanders who's all about proving yourself and becoming the best player you can be. So we end up committing there, choosing the jersey number 11. And now looking at that chart here, it looks like Stuart Hall didn't have to fight for the starting position as he was just given to it as he jumped from fourth to first string. And now looking at our stats here, you can see he has 86 speed, 82 acceleration, 76 break tackle. That's decent stats, but they're going to need to jump if you want to dominate and become the greatest walk-on player ever. But I took a quick peek at quarterback and cornerback. And why is Shador not starting? Who is this cold kid? What is going on here? And why is Travis Hunter not starting? Why am I seeing 73 overalls for two top 10 players in all of college football? But regardless, we start off our season here with Stuart Hall against our in-state rivals, Colorado State, for a Rocky Mountain showdown. And we start off with a four-yard rush for our first carry. And then our third engine inches here, Stuart Hall gets the first down and more as he gets a nice four-yard gain. Now on third and seven, Coach Sanders calls a wide receiver screenplay. The QB just holds the ball. Cuz might be acoustic. But our team was fortunate enough to get points on our drive as we kicked the field goal. And now defense got to stop. And now we got to drive down the field again as our QB turns up the heat with that option play. And then throws a dart to our receiver and hands the ball to me. And mama, your son just scored six like a touchdown. Stuart Hall punches that ball in, getting his first touchdown of his collegiate career. And he couldn't be more happy as his family's back home watching him on his TV and cheering him on. But now on 2nd and 12 here, I cut out to the outside on a nice little sneaky wheel route and we catch the defense lacking as we get a 16 yard reception here. And now on the next play, 2nd and 1, can we get the first down? And we do as we just narrowly got that one. And then on 3rd and 8, our QB throws us a dart and how did I just get in the air like that? I did tell you he was the greatest walk-on player ever. He could run and fly! And don't forget touchdowns as he walks into the end zone on this nice 3 yard touchdown run. Shout out to the O-line man. Beautiful blocking for Stuart Hall right here. And then on our next possession, we get a nice three-yard gain there. And now it's nearing the end of the third quarter. We're up by 24. This game is pretty much over. But Stuart Hall still wants to eat and doesn't want to take the position he's been put in for granted as he gets his nice nine-yard touchdown reception. Look at this kid. He could run the ball, catch the ball, run routes. He could do it all to all the viewers and supporters watching right now. How does it feel to be in the presence of greatness in Stuart Hall, man? And if you haven't already, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to hit 10k subscribers for a new college football game drop. Please help me reach it. And I say this as Stuart Hall couldn't even reach the first down yard line. But we end off this game just still punishing and destroying that D-line. And they finally get a stop here. Bringing this game to a close. But your boy, Stuart Hall, still went off. Went crazy. Player of the game. 71 yards. 2 TDs. 35 yards receiving and another receiving touchdown. And now in game number two, we're going against the FCS school, the FCS Midwest Kodiaks. It says they're own six, which is crazy because they're playing FCS opponents, but <laughs> what made them want to play us? That's all I'm going to say. As on second and four, your boy gets the first down with a nice five-yard rush. Then now on second and nine, oh my, you see that pancake? The O-line put in work. The Colorado offensive line making my job way easier with these beautiful blocks. And then for some reason, coach calls a draw on fourth and seven. And we almost got it, but sadly got stopped short. We're back near the red zone on our following offensive possession. And they're starting off on first and ten, handing the ball off to Hall. And he's going to run it and speed down the hole, set up by the blockers for a nice 14-yard gain. Then we get a calm little five-yard one here. And then coach sum me out while the team scored a touchdown. There's something we don't know about when it comes to playing time and the amount of carries I'm getting. But let me hold off on that as it's nearing the end of the first half. And we should be up by way more on the FCS team as I catch this beautiful 16-yard pass. And now in second and three, our QB throws a dot to Jimmy Horn Jr. for a 22-yard TD. Now in the second half here, and it seems like Coach heard my concerns about the lack of carries as he starts feeding me the ball here. And on second and nine, we cut to the outside and get a big gainer 
and I spin, but I probably should have just kept going straight. But I can't get mad at this groove we're starting to pick up as we start to get more carries, which equals more yards, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this big gainer I get right here. And then on third and nine here, Colt Sanders, trust me, with another run play here as we cut straight through the middle. And oh my gosh, we pick up the first down in the red zone. First and goal, and our QB throws it to a receiver for a tutty. Now on our next offensive possession here, let's see if we can take one to the house. As I try to cut it to the outside, spin back in, it clearly didn't work out. First and 10 here, we get stopped, only gain three yards right there, which eventually leads to a fourth and 15, and instead of kicking a field goal, we decide to go for it, and I cut straight through the middle and get jiggy. Ooh, I thought I had the speed to break away for the touchdown, but we get caught, and then they score the touchdown without me subbed in, man. Team just eating off my back. And then on third and inches, when they could have just used me to run right through the middle, they decided to throw a fader that actually works, and then they scored a touchdown with it, man. But we ended the game off on 108 yards on 16 rushing attempts and 36 receiving yards, and now we're facing against the Fresno State Bulldogs, and let's see if Stuart Hall can lead his team to a 3-0 start on the season. Down first and 10, you get an HB dive through the middle, and then on third and run, Stuart Hall runs a nice little flat, and GET OFF ME! Breaks through that defender's tackle and gets the first down on that five yard reception. And then on the very next play, I run an unscripted corner route and the QB hits me. And look at this block. Oh my gosh, we're gonna take it all the way. Stuart Hall with a 68 yard touchdown reception. Oh my gosh, his first reception touchdown of the year. And we start this game all strong in our home stadium, seven zip. And now we're back on offense after our defense got an incredible stop. And we're just bulldozing through the defense as I just keep getting four, five yard carries, which just adds up and adds up and gets us down the field. And now on first and goal, I just run straight through the middle and put up six on that scoreboard, baby. Let's go. Now it's the end of the first half here. We're up four points. Let's see if we can get a last second miracle touchdown. And we get pushed out of bounds. But Stuart Hall, that was a beautiful attempt. I'm telling you, I feel like we're going to get a return touchdown in this video. Just watch and wait. Because it's going to happen sooner or later, as on third and six, I could have got the ball, but instead my QB wanted to be dumb and throw an interception. But thankfully, the Bulldogs didn't capitalize after our turnover, and we got the ball back in Stuart Hall's hands. Let's see if we can cook up. Second and eight here, Stuart Hall just runs and gets through the middle, gets a nice six-yard gain there, and then he starts spamming the circle button after he clatches his flat route pass, and then now on third and six, we're trying to get open, but he hits our teammate for the touchdown, and we're now up 21-10. With the ball back, it's looking like we're about to have a W, but let me not say too much as I don't want to jinx anything. And now I'm first and 10 here. I'm pass blocking. Look look at the blocks I'm setting for my mans as he throws a crazy, stupid throw, which leads to an interception. And now we're even on a turnover board on each side. And it seems like they finally capitalized off a turnover and scored a touchdown, but missed the field goal kick? But third and 11 here, Hall gets open on an out route and just cuffs up field and gets that first down. And then on another third and seven here, Hall's gonna get open and QB hits us and we can get another first down marker here with under two minutes remaining, second and 14, this game is over. With Stuart Hall getting another play of the game with 102 yards receiving, a touchdown and 36 yards rushing. And now we're going against the Oregon State Beavers who have a better team than us, but we're 3-0. So let's see what we could do, and how we match up. And starting off here with this return by Stuart Hall. He gained 14 yards, but we couldn't capitalize on that drive. So on our next offensive drive, the ball gets handed to me near the goal line. And I cut to the outside for a five-yard gain. And then I get hit on this nice little flat route. But I couldn't get any yards and couldn't cut up field. And then my QB sells me on this option play. And we lose four yards. But then Coach Sanders forces him to redeem himself and hits me. And we get a nice 11-yard gain off of that. And then on third and three, play action pass. And what is he doing? Is he got to be a cool stick or something. Put your door in, coach. Please, put your son in. Please. Now it's the start of the second half here. We're only up three points, bro. We need to put more points on the board. And I try to set the tone for the second half here as I got a nice 31-yard return right there. And then I cut to the outside and use that speed to gain that first down. And then now on third and three, HB dive through the middle. Oh my God, these blocks are beautiful and help us gain another first down. But now on this pivotal third and seven, Coach calls an HB slip screen, and I run it perfectly and beautifully, and we get to the outside and get that nice first down. And then I'm going to let y'all guess what happened next. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all. Coach subbed me out, and the offense could have scored. I wonder why. And now look at us. We're down to the booty-ass Oregon State Beavers. But look at me. I'm getting beautiful yardage, and then our receiver, Amorion Miller, gets called for a clipping penalty? I don't even know what that is. 
But then on 36 here, look at this dumbass throw he closed to me, bro. That was a screen pass, and the QB waited till the last second till I was at the sideline to throw the ball, bro. This QB needs to go. I need Shadur. I need Shadur. Like, like, throw up the watch. I'm throwing up my watch right now. I'm throwing it up like it's the Batman signal. Shador, save me! But we end off the game with a pitiful and disgusting nine total rushing attempts. Coach, what are you doing? Feed me the ball. And then now, guess what? We're going up against a juggernaut, 16th ranked in the country, Oregon Ducks. Holy. I'm just, holy. I'm just praying I don't get injured, man. I'm just praying Stuart Hall don't get injured. But starting off here, third and 11, first quarter, and my QB gets absolutely pummeled and then fumbles the ball. And then they're going to take it to the house, to the bar, to the cribbo, in our house. Wow. And then I fumble the ball. This is great. Wow. Just bad stuff happening over and over. This is karma for coach, man, for not feeding me that ball. Shouldn't have lost that last game. But regardless, I'm going to just try to do the best I can with what they give me. And then on first and 10 here, we're cutting to the outside. Oh, we almost got that first down. We almost could have took it to the house right there. But on third and through, we do get that first down. And we want more. As it looks like I could have taken that all the way. Oh, my God. I almost had it. But we finally get fed in the red zone. And we score that touchdown. And look, coach, this is what happens when you feed me. Great things happen. Like us scoring. Which leads to us possibly winning the games. And now at the beginning of the second half here, the score is still tied 7-7. to seven, And I look to set a statement as I lead off and start off with a big return right there. But coach wasn't feeding me. And the offense couldn't score and capitalize. Now on our next offense possession, we need to score here at least a field goal to keep this game competitive. We're in the fourth quarter. The game's almost over as we get a decent chunk of yards on that speed option play. And then I shoot through the middle on this HB dive play, gain that first down. And on another first and 10, we cut to the outside and look at all those Oregon defenders and no blockers blocking for me, which is why we couldn't get a touchdown, but we did get a field goal on that. And then Oregon matched that field goal. And now with less than one second left, can Stuart Hall do the unthinkable and take this one to the Baja to take us into OT? And he couldn't. We end the game off with 87 rushing yards on 17 attempts. And now we're facing the Sun Devils looking to avoid our third straight loss. And we start off terribly down seven zip. First quarter here. Stuart Hall, please make something shake. As on first and 10, we try to get jiggy. Cut to the outside. You can come back in and get that first down on 11 yard rush. Then second and 10 here, we want a nice little outside play. And then I get subbed out and I come back in on defense for a field goal block because the defense gave up another score. But anything is possible in college football. So Stuart Hall is going to keep his head high. Get off and me! And then for possibly the run of the day, Stuart Hall gets jiggy, breaks tackles, spins, jokes. Oh my gosh. That was a beautiful 24-yard rush. Doing it all. Trying to put the team on his back. When the team is down, he's trying to lift them up, uplift them, and try to make something out of nothing. And then our QB gets sacked and ends that possession. And with less than two minutes remaining in the first half, Stuart Hall, we need you. Please make some shake here. First and 10, he catches a beautiful pass, cuts to the outside, should have went out of bounds, but it's cool because we have plenty of time remaining, and he catches another pass through the middle, 12-yard gain right there, and then 20 seconds left. QB, those, this nigga fumbles. Oh, I'm done, man. I'm done. No way. That was a disgusting turn of events right there as we're now down 21 zip. I need to make some shake here, get a big gain, possibly a score. Wait, wait. No way. That was the putter. Take it to the crib. All the way. Keep running, Stuart. Keep running, Stuart. Run, Stuart. Run. Let's go. He runs for the 104-yard return. That's got to be That's not a record. There's something you don't know about. But we get a big momentum gainer right there. And then the Sun Devils get too cocky and miss this field goal, which puts all the momentum on our side. Now we have to score here, put a little pressure on their backs, and see if they'll fold under pressure. And as Hall runs for this 8-yard gain right here, and then on second and 10 here, he runs for a nice little five-yard gain right here. And then now fast forward a few plays later, first and 10, I catch this nice little pass and get us that nice first down gain. And then we run the same play back and get another first down gain off of it. The defense is leaving everything underneath wide open. So I decided to run it back again and we get a nice beautiful gain off of it. And then I get subbed out and we lose the game. But we end off with 7-3 rushing yards. And the coach got to hate me because why do I only have 10 rushing attempts? And then I led the team in receiving as a running back. And look at our stats here, man. 3-3, three 0-3 three, oh in the conference. 
we got 421 rushing yards with 87 attempts. I should definitely have over 100 attempts in six games, bro. There's something we don't know about, but we're playing in Arizona next week, and I'm pissed off. If the season doesn't turn around, I am leaving Colorado and transferring after a season. But it's your boy, King Lee. I'm going to catch you.